Well, it's Henry. Uh, I was just listening to Toby Keith. Don't let the old man in. I guess, you know, you when you look at somebody that's born in the same same year you are. He was born in 61. I was born in 63. You, you reflect back on it and you go, you know. Where did time go? Did I do enough? Did I leave a footprint? Did I help others? Did I do enough for my kids, my parents, my wife? This topic is just to reflect back. This topic is do more the next day for the next person. Your wife, your kids, your mom and dad, your aunt and uncles, your cousins. And two years ago, my parents passed away. Both of them riding a the health train, you know, I didn't, you know, didn't hear from them, didn't, I didn't talk to them. I moved out a long time ago. My choice. But Toby Keith this morning, just listen to that song and maybe, you know, go back and reflect on that. You could always say you could have done better, but you don't, you don't see it that way. You see life and trying to survive and make an income, make a, make a footprint for yourself, move forward, take care of yourself. It's a lot of effort. There's a lot of time in that effort. There's not a lot of time in the day when you really look at the clock and how it's set up. You figure if you work 8 to 10 hours a day and then you take that out of the 24 hours and you got to sleep that portion, there's not much left and then time just sweeps by you. It's like me and my wife. We've been together 25 years, my second one. My first one was 14 and a half. So if you really calculate all the time I've been married with or with a partner, it's a long time. I haven't been alone per se, since I was probably 19 and a half, really. And you look at that journey and what you've done and you reflect back on it and you go, wow, it's just like, it's just like I'm living in a time now, it's sick going on 61, but it's amazing how your brain and time makes you feel like you're still back in 17 and 15 and 10 and you reflect back on those memories. It's, it's, it's just, I'm just sharing it with you because you're not there. If you're not in my age group or above me in my age group and you're you're up and coming as a child, 10, 15, 20, who knows may ever listen to this. I don't know. I'm going to put it on the international internet. It's going to last forever, it says, and it's safe forever. It's just a Henry Coffee Shop talk, sitting, sitting by himself, just shooting the breeze to nobody. I pretend I got somebody in the seat next to me, and I'm just reflecting on time and love and your family. And that song with Toby Keith really hits the nail in the head. There's many of them like that, too. That's not the only one. I'm just using that currently because he just passed away. And there's another another person I'll do a topic on that just passed away, too, that influenced my childhood or my younger years as an adult. And he just passed away, too, at 76. And I'll talk about him, too, in a separate segment. And he earns that. People that carry the torch and mentor others and have pride and live a live a solid center life of the people I look at as my mentor. I don't look at people that don't do that. I don't look at people that don't give something back to all. If you're a person that is outside our celebrity, you know, our average life, I'm an average person, I'm a grassroots person on boots on a deck, and you don't give something back to everybody and that and you have the power to do that, I don't look upon you very well. Because you have the influence and the money and the power and the fame to do good for people. Careful how you use that. But I'm reflecting back on on Toby Keith's song and life and how it goes. It's 60 years old, and, and, and I think my birthday last year just kind of hit me in the head a little bit. And it does. You'll do it every 10 years. You'll turn 30, then you turn 40, and then you're talking about 50, and then all of a sudden 60 gets you, and you go, you know what? Wow. Um, my parents lived up to be 79-ish, you know. Am I got that same type of gene pool? You don't know. You hope it does. But meanwhile, I'm looking at it and say, you know, I'm going to embrace the coffee shop talk now with people and just have a nice, cool conversation about life. And I got people that I, I know myself that don't interact with their parents and do a lot for them and are distant from them. I'm asking you to heal yourself. I should have healed myself. I should have been a little bit more proactive with it. 
But, you know, sometimes in your life you say, you know, I've been doing it all anyways. And I just don't have the energy to keep going. You got to dig deep, I guess. And you got to say, you know, you got to keep going. You got to heal that. That's that's a piece of your soul. I will guarantee you, you'd be glad you did if you took just my advice on any of this coffee shop talk. Podcast, YouTube, whatever you want to call me. I'm nobody special. But I am a person.